the last video, I showed you how to configure WD Admin to use it in your environment with your Azure subscription. Let me show you one part I missed. If you have never worked with WD in your Azure subscription, you have to first register the service provider. You can do this on a subscription. Go to resource providers and select Microsoft Desktop Virtualization. I registered it before I um, make the first video. So if you have never worked with WBD before, select this and click register. So, so let us start with images. The way I go for building images, which I then can use to roll out new session host in different host pools or on the same host pool or update a host pool, is to create a native virtual machine in the Azure portal, join it to my Active Directory domain, and then prepare the virtual machine with software. I install software, I do Windows update, and later, if I'm finished, I then grab an image as a template from this virtual machine. So let us start. I go to the Azure portal. Then like virtual machines. I want to add a virtual machine. And then let us select first a resource group. I want to have a new resource group for my templates, my template virtual machines, my template image. So I decide to create a new resource group, RG templates WBD. I hope it fits into the naming convention. No, not really. Well, that will work. So virtual machine name is, I give it a name. For me, it's my template, WVD OO. I want to have this in my region. In this case, that is West Europe. And then I want to have a Windows 10 multi-session host image. So see all images. Windows, Windows 10. And then let us find oh, a Windows 10 multi-session host. Here are the Microsoft 365 apps included. Let us take a look if I can find a native without Office. Windows 10 Enterprise multi-session version 2004. That must be the newest one. Yeah, I select this template uh, this image for my for my template virtual machine i give it a which machine size that, that that is fine i give it a local admin username and a password Inbound port 3389, yes. And I confirm that I have a Windows 10 license. I go for disk. I select standard SSC. That is normally the first OS disk type I used. And if it doesn't work or it is too, too slow later as a session host, um, then I can select maybe a premium SSD. No encryption. Networking is important. I want to use my existing VNet. That is the VNet that is connected to my Active Directory domain. I have only one subnet, public IP, a new one is fine to access the virtual machine and to update it, it and to join it to the domain. Next management, node boot diagnostic in my case, tags and so on. Then let us check if all is fine and then we can create the virtual machine, the template virtual machine. I 
Okay, that I create and that will take a while. And after this, we can log into the virtual machine and join it to my Active Directory. So our template virtual machine is ready. Let's go to the resource and connect to the virtual machine. Account. And then first log in to our new template virtual machine or this virtual machine, which should be become our template virtual machine. So the first step I do is to check Windows updates. And after the update, we have to restart. The which machine is now updated. The second step is to join it to my normal Active Directory domain. Okay, and then we have to reboot again. So the virtual machine is back. What, what I can do before I log in with my domain credential, I could add some language settings or language packs. For example, let me add the German language. I don't set it as my default language, so any user later logging into a session host can decide or starts with the English language, but can then select the German language if the user want to do that. So that is ready. Let me log off and then log in again with my domain credentials to install applications. So my template virtual machine is part of my Active Directory domain. It's connected to my network and you can now, I can now install application. What I can do, I can do it manually. 
that is the way I go today, or you can use any other software deployment solution to install application. So I want to do it manually. And let me open Edge and I will use Ninite to install some application as demo applications. So Ninite is a website that can bundle application installation and I use it um, or I love to use it in demos. Let me select Chrome. What does we need else? Maybe putty. Seven zip and paint.net for example. So click on get uni night and then run the application. We can close this and wait for the application. So all applications are installed. There's one missing application that is Avis Logix. And let me install Avis Logix. To this virtual machine. Software. To the nine. the newest release x64 and then I have in FS logic installed and can later if I want to use FS logics configure it by group policy So a best practice for me is before we capture an image from this template virtual machine is to reboot the virtual machine once and then shut it down. Only to be sure that everything from the installation process runs correctly. Give it a restart. Sometimes if you install an application, you have some pending changes which, which would be applied on a reboot. And um, with my last reboot, before I capture the image, I make sure that this um, is applied. So that looks good. And now let us shut down the virtual machine. So the virtual machine is deallocated and then we can go back to WBD admin. So let us reload all to make sure that we see everything in WD and in the Azure node. So if I expand now the Azure node, I see the new virtual machine, um, <laughs> the virtual machine and the new created resource group. The virtual machine is deallocated, it's great. And with right, a right click and then create a template image, I can give the new image a name 
template wvd prod01 that's fine for me my virtual machine is the twvd-000 and the target rg that is a target resource group for my image is the same resource group where my which machine is in and then i can configure a script path that is no longer necessary so so remove it left it empty and then click on capture what happens in the background in the background wd admin makes a copy of our template virtual machine and with this copy wd admin makes a sysprep process and other steps which are necessary in the template creation process the original template virtual machine will still untouched so that is important to reuse this template virtual machine later maybe in a week or in a month to make some other windows updates or additional software installation we can reuse our template virtual machine every time we need you can see now he's applying the scripts to the copy of our template virtual machine making sysprep and some other parts before sysprep starts so we are waiting for the virtual machine to be powered off that happens now wpd admin is now building the image And this should appear in a few seconds under the image node. So the image is ready. On the images, the resource group name, we can now see our new image, which we are created from our template virtual machine. That image is the image we can use in the next video to deploy new session hosts in our environment. So hope to see you in the next video. And then we start to create a bunch of virtual machine of session hosts.